Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is my 2017 beauty favourites. So this video has been so popular this year. Like, I feel like it's been really, really popular this year compared to last year. Because like, I don't know about you guys, but my subscription feed is full of these videos. Um, but yeah, I thought I would do one as well this year because there were some great products out last year and also some great products that I discovered last year that have been out for a while but I have just recently started using them. So yeah, I'm really excited to share my beauty favourites of 2017 with you. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So before we get started, don't mind my non-tan hands. Um, like, I just can't be bothered. I just really can't be bothered. It's like minus 10 outside. It's so cold and yeah, I just can't be bothered with tanning. Um, so yeah, don't mind that. So first of all, I'm going to start off with beauty accessories. So yeah, the first couple of things, seeing as we're talking about tanning, are two tanning products that I've been loving this year. So the first one is the Vita Libera body blur. So you guys have seen me talking about this a lot um, over the past year. I really really love this. It's a really quick and easy instant tan and I also really like using this on top of it. This is the Saint Tropez Instant Tan Gloss. So this is a really kind of sparkly glossy um, finish and it just makes your tan look absolutely gorgeous because a really nice kind of high shined finish which I really love. So I do like using that sometimes on top of this. So I've been using this mitt a lot and this is from so I believe um, and this is from Superdrug so this is like a towel kind of mitt and it's so amazing to apply like that would be to liberate a tan it's also great to apply mousse tans liquid tans and your know, tans that have got to develop it's a really great mitt for that it just makes your tan uh, go on so much easier so much smoother and it just looks kind of more flawless I absolutely love this it's incredible I use this a lot okay so next thing I've been loving all last year and also um, a few years I think before that as well is the Freedom Pro Studio Brush Shower. So this is an antibacterial brush cleanser and it's the best one I've ever ever used. It cleans your brushes amazingly like, on, like if you just want to clean your brushes like, on the spot sort of thing before you do like your eyeshadow and things like that you spritz it on it, clean it and it's just it makes them um, so clean, keeps the bristles really soft and the bristles also smell really really nice so yeah I do love this, I highly recommend it. It's from the drugstore and it only costs £5. So I started using the MAC Fix Plus this year and I'm absolutely hooked on it. I love it. I love it so so much. This is just incredible for really setting your makeup down, setting in place and adding a lot of hydration into your skin. Um, yeah, really love this. I love the smell of this. It smells sort of like a um, melon, a melon kind of watermelon smell. It's just so refreshing and yeah, I love using this. I just feel like my makeup lasts even longer than what it does and yeah, really, really love this. I love spritzing it on. It's so refreshing. Okay, so let's talk about my favourite bronzers of last year. Okay, so the first one I want to talk to you about is one that I use when I don't want to have a lot of makeup on. Like I don't want to, I don't want to look too kind of bronzed and too kind of sun-kissed and yeah, like I don't want to have a lot of makeup on. So I use this here, which is the Laura Geller um, Beach Matte Bait Hydrating Bronzer, and this is in the shade sunrise fair so that's what the packaging looks like there and that's what the product looks like inside i've used this a lot the past year and yeah really love this so another bronzer that i got at the later part of last year is the Too Faced chocolate soleil bronzer now this is in the shade medium deep and this was a completely different shade from the laura gala one because the laura gala one as you can see you know, is a lot lighter, a lot more fair. This one is like really kind of deep, really bronzy. This is great for really glam nights. It's also a great bronzer to contour with. You just get a nice little angle brush and it gives you really nice snatched cheeks. So yeah, really love this bronzer and I love the smell of it. It smells like chocolate, like cocoa. Love it. Okay, so I have one more bronzer to share with you and it is from Guerlain. This is it here. This is their Terracotta bronzer and this I love like this is really expensive but I love using this like when I have like a special event or when I want to look really really glam then I'll use this and as you can see this one is a bit more kind of goldeny it's a bit warmer than the other two there so this one gives you a really lovely kind of sun kiss look to your cheeks it has like a little bit of like a kind of um shimmeriness in it but it's not too it's not too shimmery like you can't really see it in the pan to be honest but when you put it on your cheeks it gives you a really lovely kind of glow to your cheeks and also because of the shade of it it makes you look sun kissed as well so yeah in 2017 I also loved the Kat Von D shade and light palette so I actually started using this um the last few months before 2017 was like over and 
yeah I am absolutely obsessed with it I use this like near enough every single day because I think it's amazing the shades inside this are like the perfect bronzing and the perfect contouring shades for my skin type and um, so that's what it looks like inside there and as you can see you get three kind of bronzer shades there that can also be used for contouring and three setting shades there and um, so I really love this shade here for bronzing as well as contouring my cheeks and also this banana shade here for setting my under eye area and I like putting a little bit of this white shade on top of that just to really kind of brighten under eye area I think it's great so yeah I really love this palette I love how finely milled the powders are they're just great okay guys so for mascaras my favourite that I discovered this year is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara so this mascara is incredible for giving you like length, volume, curl, hold, jet blackness everything like that it is incredible and um, the only thing that I think is a bit of a downside to this is that it can kind of bleed on the under eye area so what I like to do is just set my under eye area with a bit more kind of powder when I'm coating my lashes just so that you know you don't get the little black speckles there but yeah I really love this it gives you everything that you need for your lashes I also use this one a lot which is the Maybelline the Colossal Big Shot I think this is quite similar to the Last Sensational but I think the Last Sensational is just a little bit better so I'm going to throw that in here as well and the Last Sensational is my all-time favourite mascara like yeah it's just the best it gives you everything volume curl and um, hold jet blackness and it's from the drugstore so it's a lot cheaper than the Too Faced Better Than Sex however I think these are just as good as each other so yeah okay so for foundations I'm going to quickly go through a couple of them because I actually have a separate video all about my favourite drugstore foundations coming up and the three that I'm going to show you are like from a drugstore so I'm just going to quickly mention them so the one I used a lot last year and still to this day is the Rimmel Match Perfection this is like my favourite foundation it's just incredible so yeah love that that has more of a kind of glowy dewy finish to it and I'm actually wearing that one today and the other one I really love and I have a review of on my channel is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Foundation so this is actually a new foundation into the drugstore and this is absolutely incredible it's very lightweight and um, it lasts a long time on the skin and it feels really hydrating so love that that has more of a kind of semi matte finish to it and then the next one is the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation so this one is more of a kind of matte foundation it's oil free it's cruelty free it lasts a long time on the skin and it looks so flawless on as well so yeah really love that so my favorite setting powder from 2017 was the Rimmel Match Perfection this is great for setting down your foundation and it's also great for cleaning up any kind of messy contour as well so yeah it's just a translucent powder and I think it's really really great and I'm actually almost out of this tub and for concealer my favourite again this year is the Maybelline the Eraser Eye okay so I'm going to quickly share with you a few of my favourite eyeliners like liquid liners and eye definers so my first favourite this year was or is <laughs> was is the Maybelline Master Ink that's what it looks like there. This is great if you really love like matte liner because this stuff is so matte and it lasts a long, long time. I'm actually wearing this on my eyes today because I have more of a kind of matte eye going on and I just really prefer like a matte liner. So yeah, love this stuff. It's great. I've also really been loving the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This one has more of a kind of like more of a satiny finish to it but this is waterproof so it lasts a real long time and then two kind of eyeliner pencils that I love for my waterline are the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer this is what it looks like here I absolutely love this I think it this thing is incredible it lasts such a long time in a waterline because it is waterproof it's great and the other one I really love which is more expensive is the YSL one so that's what one looks like there this actually needs sharpened um, yeah I really love this again this one is waterproof so it lasts a real long time the YSL one is a bit more kind of jet black than the Rimmel one but the Rimmel one is way more affordable okay and then for brows all year I've been using the high definition eye and brow palette this is what it looks like here this is incredible this thing I really love it and as you can maybe see this is the shade that I use all the time and I'm almost out of it so I use that all the time to kind of fill in and shape my brows and sometimes I'll use a little kind of gel that comes in the the palette but like n not a lot recently because I actually discovered the Benefit Gimme Brow which this thing I think has actually been taken off the shelves just now I don't know why like I think it's something to do with like the formula something that people were actually 
applying it on their eyes or something or getting it in their eyes and it's like harming their eyes or something I'm not too sure but yeah the Titan Off Shelf which I'm so gutted about because like I literally love this stuff I think it's the best brow gel thing I've ever used and I like to use this to set my brow hair sort of down and this actually has a little bit of colour to it so it sort of sets the brows down adds a little bit of colour, just makes your brows look so much more lively and yeah I really do love this little guy, I think it's incredible. So yeah I'm just really gutted that it's been taken off the shelves just now but hopefully it comes back. Okay so for highlight I do have a bunch to share with you. So my first favourite one um, that I've been loving a lot this year is the Tanya Burr Illuminating Powder in the shade Champagne Sorbet. So that's what that one looks like there, like that's the front of it. And that's what it looks like inside. This is more like a baked highlight, which I think is absolutely gorgeous um, on the cheeks. I wear this a lot because it is just really, really affordable to wear all the time. So that's what it looks like there. It has a bit more of a kind of um, rosy, kind of pinky undertone to it. And then another more affordable highlight that I really love this year is the um, Milani, what's this called, Strobe Light in the shade Day Glow. So that's what it looks like there. This one's a bit more kind of like champagne-y, golden-y than the Tanya Burr one. So I'll swatch that up the top there. Hopefully you can see these swatches. But yeah, that's what one looks like there. It's gorgeous. It's really kind of velvety smooth. This really nice. And then the other one which I'm obsessed with, I absolutely love. And I think I've been using this for more than just um, a year. I think I've been using this for maybe two years now. I'm not too sure. And there's so much product still left inside it. And it is the Illa Masca. Uh, Beyond Powder in OMG, so that's what it looks like there. This one again is stunning. This is more of a kind of champagne-y, golden-y um, tone to it. So that's what that one looks like at the end there. If you can maybe see that. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous highlights. Absolutely love them. And then another highlighter that I just started using at the end of last year is the Iconic Illuminator. So this is really gorgeous on the cheeks. Like, if you want a, a highlighter that's going to look kind of really glowy and it makes and looks really natural and gives you that kind of lip from within sort of look then this guy is for you it's really gorgeous if you just use like a beauty blend or like a sponge and just um pass it into the cheeks it just looks so natural and so gorgeous okay guys so let's move on to lip products so i'm going to start off with my favorite lip glosses from last year and these lip glosses are like the best lip glosses like i have ever ever tried in my life and they are the Makeup Revolution My Sign Lip Glosses. So this is what it looked like here and I love every single one of these glosses. Like every shade is just perfect. The formula of these are incredible. Like I have never tried a lip gloss that is just so long lasting, so smooth, so opaque is these ones these are just incredible and they are so affordable like three pounds each from the drugstore so i've picked out a bunch of my favorite here like i love all of them but i've picked out my favorite favorite ones from the whole collection and that is pisces i love pisces so it's kind of nudey pink shade they're mostly nudes to be honest but i love nudes and um, libra virgo which is actually my star sign cancer so it's a gorgeous shade to apply right in the centre of your lips. So if you want more of like a poutiness, then apply that on top of like one of the darker shades. Capricorn, this is like a kind of stone shade. And then Leo, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous, super high shine kind of brown shade. It's so gorgeous. Okay, so moving on to lipsticks. I'm going to stick with Drugstore here and... I've been loving these two a lot the past year which are from Rimmel and this, these two are part of the Kate collection and these are just stunning. Again, like I'm going to warn you, these are all nude shades that I'm going to show you but this one here is so gorgeous. This is Boho Nude and then this one here is called Rock and Roll Nude. This is like a really gorgeous pinky shade which I actually have on my lips today. I really, really love this. It has like a really kind of nice glossy finish to it as well which I'm really really loving so yeah I absolutely love that they're so creamy so smooth really easy to wear every single day and then the next drugstore lipsticks that I've been loving a lot are from Barry M these are their super slick satin lips I think they're called and um, these are incredible again these are so buttery so smooth they have quite a similar finish and formula to those ones from Rimmel there so this shade here is my all-time favorite and I'm almost out of this one. This is actually my second or third tube of this and it's um, Truffle Shuffle. Gorgeous kind of nudey brown shade. I wear that like nearly every single day. I love it. And then the other one I love from that same collection is Mannequin. So this is 168. 
that's my in there, it's just like a lighter pinky nude than um, Truffle Shuffle, so. Okay, so that's all the drugstore lipsticks um, that I'm going to share with you today, but of course I've been loving a lot more than that really over the past year, but that's the ones that really jump out to me and I've been using the most really. So I'm going to move on to kind of more sort of higher end lipsticks. So the first ones I'm going to share with you are from MAC, and the shades I've been loving are Hug Me, which is a gorgeous kind of brownie nude. It's it's part of the luster range, so it's a bit more kind of sheer on the lips, but it's great for an everyday look. And the other shade I've been loving is Velvet Teddy. This is a matte finish, and it's a little bit kind of deeper looking than the Hug Me shade, but very similar. And yeah, I really do love them. Another new lipstick I've been loving is from Bobbi Brown, and this is her brownie pink lipstick. So that's what it looks like there and this is actually just new this year or well, last year 2017 um yeah gorgeous gorgeous shade i absolutely love that it's very long last on the lips and it just looks so luxurious on the lips yep and it feels luxurious as well and then another one of my more higher end lipsticks that i've been loving is from Ella Masca. so this is what it looks like there i absolutely love the packaging of this and that's what the shade looks like there so this is more of a kind of stone brown shade and yeah, it's just really pretty on the lips. Again, it lasts a long time. Okay, and my favourite, favourite high-end lipstick from last year has to be this YSL one here. This is part of their Rouge Volup Shine range and it's in the shade number 9. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's a pinky nude shade. That's what it looks like there. It is stunning on the lips. It is so glossy. It makes your lips look really nice and juicy looking. I love the smell of this smells like sweets it's just so delicious I be a, I love the packaging of this it just looks so luxurious it feels luxurious on the lips lasts a long time and yeah I always wanted to buy a YSL lipstick and I finally got one last year so yeah this this is just my favorite favorite lipstick probably like ever because <laughs> I've always wanted one of these so yeah um, love that, that's a shade number 9. Oh and then I have another higher end liquid lipstick to share with you and it is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Lips. So I actually love this whole collection, like I actually have every single shade I think, or I don't have one I think, I think I have most of them but one. And I actually have them sitting behind me here, I don't know if you can see them but they're in like a little um, holder behind me there, like I have all of them there. And I absolutely love these, like this shade I have here is too bad, um, too bad. I'm bad. So I actually have a full lip swatch video um, of these Hollywood lips um, on my channel. On my channel, I will link it down below in the description box for you. Um, yeah, these are really gorgeous. They're really kind of velvety. They're more like a mousse on the lips, and I love the applicator. It's a little bit, it's a little bit funky. It looks as if it's sort of like been like chopped, like just chopped in half. Like the dough has been chopped, but. It's really great, it has more of a kind of square tip on it so you can get right round your edges of your lips great. Yeah, we really love these. These last a long time on the lips as well. So yeah, that's a Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Lips. Okay, so I'm going to quickly run through a few of my favourite makeup brushes from last year. So I do have a ton of brushes that I'm really loving right now and that I use in my everyday makeup collect uh, makeup routine, should I say. And um, yeah, but right now I'm going to share a few with you. But I am going to be doing a separate video all on my um, favourite makeup brushes and that will be coming up my channel very soon so if you're new to my channel then hit subscribe and um, also make sure your notification bell is turned on so that you know when that video is up but anyway I'm going to quickly tell you a few of my favourite brushes so I have a bunch of them in this little holder here that I'm going to quickly run through and the first one I want to mention is this guy here because I use this every single day and it is the Morphe Y7 brush. This is incredible for, for applying foundation. It just makes your foundation look so flawless and it gets the job done really, really quickly. So yeah, love that. And yeah, I love the design of this brush. The whole Gildia collection from Morphe is stunning. So yeah, love this. And then another brush from Morphe that I'm really loving to apply fake tan, like whether it's on my neck, my body, my hands, my arms, is the Morphe E1 brush. So as you can see, it's a really big puffy brush that's very kind of dense, very compact. So it really applies your um, tan really um, quickly, really flawlessly. And yeah, I think it's a great brush. It's a bit more expensive for Morphe. I think it's about 20, 21 pound or something like that. But it's a great brush. Like if you're really, if you're really into like tanning and you want the job done really, really quickly, then invest in this because it's 
great great brush for quickly getting your tan on like on your neck arms legs whatever it's great and then sticking with morphe another brush that i discovered this year for um a blending and concealer is the morphe e8 brush this is incredible just blends and concealers so flawlessly and then another morphe brush that i just got lately is this brush here and it's from their um, Complexion Goals set. So this brush comes with a, um, a, like a, um, five other brushes or four other brushes and this one is probably my favourite from that kind of whole set because this one is great for like setting your under eye area with um, powder. So yeah that's what I really love using this brush for. And then the Morphe Y15 brush is great for applying shadow into the crease and it's also great for blending out or blending in um, multiple eyeshadows so yeah. I've also been real loving this brush here which is a BH Cosmetics, this is their 101 brush. This comes in a set as well but the, the whole set is really great to be honest but this one is my favourite from the set and this is a big kind of puffy blending brush that's great to just like get shadow right into your crease or to blend all your shadows together it's really great for that like yeah it's a great great brush i love this and then for applying shadow more precisely into the crease i've been real loving this sigma e25 brush and um, yeah it's the perfect kind of um quite it's they call it like a blending brush but it's quite slim so it's great for really getting into the crease if you want to add like a darker shadow you know into the crease area and not get it like everywhere this is a great brush for that so yeah really do love that and then the last brush i want to quickly share with you is the benefits hula brush so this brush is great for bronzer like it's great for really bronzing up your cheeks getting right in the outer corner like the outer corner of your foreheads right along the jawline down your neck and um, because it is quite kind of puffy it just gets the job sort of done okay guys so i'm not really going to show you any of my favorite eyeshadow palettes from 2017 because i actually have a video up on my channel already which you guys have probably already seen if not then i'll link it down below so i mentioned in that video a bunch of my favorite eyeshadow palettes from 2017 and if you are curious a few of my favorite are the huda beauty mall obsession the Becca Apri Ski, the Makeup Revolution 35 um, Inspiration Palette, the Morphe 3502 Second Nature Palette. Yeah, I've got a ton. So if you want to know more than just check out that video, I will link it down below in the description box. Sorry. That brings this video to an end, and I really hope you liked seeing my 2017 beauty favourites. I will leave everything down below in the description box um, for you, and I'll have some links in there as well. Give this video a big thumbs up if you really did like and enjoy it, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will speak to you very, very soon in my next video. Bye! I'll be holding you.